When you hear about bioidenticals and hormone replacement therapy, you think about the actress Suzanne Somers, right? Suzanne Somers. She's been on a campaign. Right. It's controversial. It is Some people don't buy into this. That's correct. Why? Well, there's some people, there were big studies that were done on fake hormones that showed that they were very dangerous, that they caused things like heart attacks and strokes and cancer. And so a lot of doctors lump natural bioidentical hormones in with these fake hormones. Okay, the fake hormones which come from um, horse, a mare. Horse urine. urine. Right. Pregnant okay. mare urine is Premarin. So right. that's that's estrogen from a horse. It's mm -hmm. not even human. So it's something that is important to realize is that we don't want to take hormones that are foreign to our body. Right. Bioidentical hormones are chemically exactly identical to what your body made when you were young. Okay, and then how do you know how much to take what fits your the template of your needs we do it by partly by symptoms I mean when a person is feeling very well that is a good sign that their hormones are at a good level for them but we also do it by monitoring blood urine and saliva testing okay I promise to get to the calls but libido this is really important yes we don't talk about this too much, but that's women right. experience a drop in libido. Absolutely. It's something that happens. It's epidemic in women. It also obviously occurs in men. But low libido can have a really serious negative impact on relationships and marriages and things like that. And if your hormones are low, it's pretty much impossible to have a normal libido. Okay. Let's go to the phones. Carla from Santa Clara. Good morning. Do you have a, call, uh, a question for the doctor? Yes, I do. Um Doctor, I'm a 58-year-old postmenopausal woman who's been on hormonal replacement for 15 years for hot flashes, and actually it's probably more like 16, and I quit them three weeks ago. I'm still having them, but not as bad. I won't see my doctor for three months, and I wanted to know how detrimental it was to my health after listening to you this morning. Mm, good question. So you were on fake hormones? I was on Primpro and Provera. Yes, those are fake hormones. I think yeah. it would be very important to get in to see a doctor who does bioidentical hormones and replace those as soon as possible with natural wow. hormones. Okay. All right. Oh, that well, and Carla, I should mention, and we were talking about this um, during the break, but the doctor also takes these hormones yourself. Yes. I, I always say I wouldn't do something for my patients that I'm not willing to do myself. And I've been on bioidentical hormones myself for about a year, and I, my own OBGYN had put me on fake hormones prior to that, and I did not feel good, and I gained a bunch of weight, and I just knew that it was bad. And so I started going to the hormone conferences at that point and learned about it and started taking bioidenticals myself, and I feel a lot better.